stock futures, oil, what OPEC this week right now? I know you're a long-term guy, but if we think shorter term, what is the most one or two important storylines for our viewers' money right now? To me, uh, less oil, it's more the trade tariffs that we had uh, over the weekend. Again, a weekend to sort of sit and mull that and where that's going. And then I think it's tightening of, of credit, you know, the U.S. Fed increasing rates maybe a bit more aggressively than we thought at the beginning of the year and whether that will lead the ECB cutting its bond program late at the end of this year. So it's those two aspects, I think, for a longer term investor to mull. There's so many, I, I, what is it, known unknowns, I mm -hmm. guess, if you could say. We know that the ECB is dialing back on their quantitative easing. We know that rate hikes here are likely. We know that credit is tightening in the United States. But what we don't know, the big unknown, is how much all of that is going to be reflected in the markets. Can earnings growth and general economic stimulus around the world overcome those negatives. So to me, the, the big area to keep looking at is the banking sector. So if, if credit is tightening, be more treasury is issued, then the banks have got to step in there and create that money supply, increase lending to support growth. We're seeing good signs on capex spending increasing, uh, companies wanting to spend, consumers wanting to borrow. But can the banking sector step up to that plate and do that lending? And, and they've been weak. The shares have been weak. Investors are saying we're not sure this year. It's been one of the worst sectors globally. So I, I think there are some warning signs in there to be careful. Let me ask it more directly. Can banks, can global economic strength generally outweigh the negatives of a stronger U.S. dollar in Europe and higher oil prices, which are, by the way, priced in dollars. Yeah, true. Well, we're looking at maybe a bit of increased supply might bring that oil price down. That helps inflation numbers. I, I think marginally, yes, is, is the answer. Yes, I think we can. Unemployment is, is still very low, so people are creating jobs, a bit more wages, a little bit of inflation coming through. I, I think marginally you're on the side, yes, we might just muddle the way through here. But as I said, there are some warning signs. I think take a little bit of caution into markets. The majority of our fund managers in the United States will tell you that as much as they love America, maybe most of our gains seem to have been made and that Europe generally remains a better economic investing spot than the United States. Does the European view mirror that? I think we're a little bit more, I suppose we sit here with Brexit on the horizon in the UK. Maybe we're a little bit more cautious than that. I think there's still some challenges in Europe. Um, but yes. So are you going to tell us the U.S. is better than the U.K.? Uh, Economically-wise, it feels <laughs> a little bit tax cuts coming through, you know, stimulus there, helping uh, life there, and a strong dollar as well for some of those, uh, those companies, you know, exporting, repatriating cash. So, you know, you, you always get that, and I suppose each market feels a little bit more optimistic about other places. Make our viewers in the States an expert in European and U.K. economic policy in 45 seconds. Help us understand what the most important things here are for our viewers there in a global economy. I think always remember Europe, UK, we're, we're relatively lower grow regions, less entrepreneurship, bigger social state, as it were. And so inflation numbers are never that high. So actually, you know, expecting big rate rises is just, to me, doesn't happen. It's a nudge on the tiller. So again, I, I think actually we're OK. We're well placed. A lot of the ECB's action has, is coming through. And we will see that lending growth pick up in the second half and into next year. One of the best places to make money for our viewers globally right now is where and how? We think still China, that China play, particularly the consumer. You saw Google's announcement investing in consumer and in, in a retailer there. Again, I think that consumer spending, nominal growth is, is heading towards 10 percent. So good wage growth. Uh, and, and spending increasing. So try and Is find some Is that Hong Kong or domestic there. Chinese equities out? Slightly prefer the domestic plays because they're a bit cheaper, but you can find them in the H share. Harder to buy, though, in the United States. They, they H shares are. Hong Kong you can buy easily as an American investor. Domestic Chinese shares a little more difficult. Got to find the funds with access with QFI accounts and, and Hong Kong. And I Kong assume Connect. Janice Henderson We has do have a few of those. Amazing. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.